the service as printed. Hallelujah. And let me say again, I know that Sister Hicks is coming to give us a formal welcome, but let me say we thank God for all of you that are here to support this endeavor. Hallelujah. And so at this time, we're going to give the floor, and we're going to follow the order of the service. Amen. As Deacon Blake comes to give us our devotion. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Today's scripture is going to be taken from Gospel of John, chapter 15. Gospel of John, chapter 15. And it reads, I am the true vine, and my father is the hus husband. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring more fruit. Now that you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, <clears throat> abide in me and I in you. As the branch, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the creator, <clears throat> we thank you this day. This is the day that we have going to live through and we won't come back again. So let's give you the glory and the praise. The psalmist wrote, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High yes. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes, I've been young and I've been old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Many were the fictions of the righteous. Yes. But God delivered them out of them all. Yeah. Let us not be weary and well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Yes. Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. Yes. And Father, we ask you that your spirit, the spirit that moved in creation, move on this summit today. Yes. And for everything that we get out of this conference, Father, we're going to give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you. We said thank you. I thank the Lord, the Lord for you, and I thank God for being here. And it's an honor to be here and give you a welcome. And I was thinking about, you know, what would I say for a welcome? To all you know, Christian brothers and sisters, you are my brothers and sisters in Christ. So you, I should welcome you in love. So I was thinking about uh, one particular state, Hawaii. As you come in, you know, most of them have the sign, welcome to Arkansas, welcome to Mississippi. And so Hawaii, as you come there, they will give you a kiss and a lay around your neck. So what I'm saying to you, I am welcome you with that kiss and a lay of love from the Lord. Amen. You are welcome, you are welcome all the time. You are welcome yes. in this house. We welcome you by the bread of heaven, bishop, yeah. every member here, we welcome you in love and we welcome you in peace. Anytime you feel welcome to come, come and enjoy us. And it's a good thing to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. God, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's great to be praised today. I want to uh, sing this song that just says, uh, this is how I fight my battles. Amen. And sometimes we have battles in our life that we have to fight. But always remember, though, that God is fighting for us. Amen. And he intercedes for us. So I just, uh, how this song goes, I want y'all to sing it with me. It's just, uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's a simple song. But it just says, this is how I fight my battles. 
This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. In the second part. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And that's the song. And I want y'all to sing it with me. And, and, and uh, just begin to cast those things down that the devil may want to burden you down and let him know that he is a defeated foe. Yeah. Amen. Thank 
you, Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. It's in this house that we come to give God glory. I don't understand why we and we are we're so quiet today. Amen. You got up, you got dressed, you might as well gonna give us some praise. Amen. You might as well give them glory. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank We're here to give God praise. We're here to give Him glory. We're here to worship Him. Yes. Hallelujah. So today, we're going to get into the Word, and I thank the Lord for this day. Yes. This is going to be a day that God has a Word that's going to challenge you. Amen. It's going to convict you. Every time you get in God's word, it should challenge you. God, I, 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 I challenge myself to get closer to you. I need to get closer to you. There should be a challenge when we read God's word. I need to love you more. I need to love my brothers and sisters more. I need to get deeper in the things of God. That should be a challenge. If you have your Bible, let's look at Psalms. Psalms 42. Psalms 42, and we're going to just key in on verse 5. I'm not going to prolong the time, but I want to get right into the heart of the message. And this is what it says. Psalms 42, verse 5. It says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. All right, all right, all right. You ever had to talk to yourself sometimes? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Praise the Lord. I want to talk to you about hoping in God. Put your hope in God. And the psalmist here, he had a conversation with himself. And so many times we have to get to the point where we get in a quiet place and begin to talk to yourself. What's going on? What's wrong with you? Why, why are you so upset? What has got you baffled? He said, why are you so cast down? 
And so today I want to talk to you about hoping in God. Where is your hope? Yeah. Now, today, as I was meditating on this, there, there, there was coming a lot of cliches and things that I've heard through the years about hope. You know, uh, one cliche is uh, hope springs eternal. And that was by Alexander Pope in the 1700s. I'm like, wow. I've heard that before. And then many of us are familiar with Jesse Jackson, and he always used the phrase, keep hope alive. And then we've heard different sayings that speaks to hope, but it may not necessarily have the word hope in it. Like, um, with every cloud, there's a silver lining. Mm -hmm. It's talking about hope. Amen. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that, that I begin in my journey through life now is I begin to define everything. Because you know, what I thought something meant has a different meaning now in the way society sees things. Do you not know that society has changed definitions pretty much about everything now? Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah. I was reading somewhere to where they said they have counted there are 72 genders now. <clears throat> but the Bible only tells me that it's two. <clears throat> God created male and female. Amen. Amen. <laughs> So I begin to define everything because what you're talking about may not necessarily be the same thing that the other person is talking about. We may have one conversation, but we're talking about two different things. Amen. So it's best to define everything nowadays to get a good understanding. All right. So here's the definition of hope. And this is the definition that I'm going to be coming from. This is hope. Hope is the expecting trust for a favorable outcome. It is the positioning of the heart, mind, and body for change. Hope is getting you in position for change. Hope causes one to talk a certain way act a certain way, Amen. view things a certain way. Amen. You cannot have true inward hope without an outward manifestation. Yes. Let me say that again. Hope causes one to talk a certain way, yes. act a certain way, yes. view things a certain way. Yes. You cannot have inward hope without an outward manifestation. Hope looks beyond the immediate and grab hold of the promise. Let me say that again. Hope look past the immediate, what I'm going through right now, what's facing me right now. It goes beyond the immediate and it grab hold of the promise. So this is the definition of hope that I'm going to be talking to you about today. <clears throat> The psalmist realized something. He realized that he had to hope in God. God had to be his hope, his expectation. If there's going to be a favorable outcome, he's going to have to put his trust in God. Where is your hope today? He said, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God. Where is your trust? And I'm going to begin to show you some things that many of us fall victims to when we put our trust. Many of us put our trust in man. Yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm. 
We put our trust in a man. We put our trust in an individual. The Bible says in Psalms 146, this is what it says. Psalms 146, verses 1 through 10. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. The Bible is telling us not to put our hope in a man. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goes forth, he returned to his earth. He's going to die just like you are. He has a beginning and an end, just like you do. Don't put your trust in man. All right. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Amen. He can say, yeah, I'll help you, and then forget all about you. That very day, his thoughts perish. He can easily get sidetracked just like you can. Amen. Do not put your trust in man. Amen. Your trust needs to be in the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. His breath goes forth, he returns to his earth, and in a very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that has the God of Jacob for his help. Amen. 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 Glory. Amen. Thank Whose you. hope is in the Lord his God. All right. Thank you, Lord. No. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God will not disappoint you. No. God will not let you down. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. All right. So happy is he that put his hope in God. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. <clears throat> happy is he that has the God of Jacob for his help. Yes. Whose hope is in the Lord his God. See, man has a just a limited supply. Mm -hmm. But God's supply is unlimited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to have God for your help. Because mm -hmm. when God comes, he's come with a, a never-ending supply. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Have God as your hope. Yes. Yes. He's your hope. Not man. Man can't do what God can do for you. Come on. Yeah, man. Happy is he that has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, yes. which has made heaven and earth, the sea, and all therein, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed which giveth food to the hungry. This is what your God can do. Yes, right. Hallelujah. He executes judgment for the oppressed. He giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises him that is bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. By the way of the wicked, he turned upside down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he is your hope. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he is your help. Yes, Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he is the one that makes yeah. you happy. Yeah. Hey, Lord. Thank you, Praise God. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hope not in man. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
Man tires out easy. Yes, he yeah. does. Yeah. You can get on my nerves real easy. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's a cutting off point with me. All right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But with God. Yeah. Hey, glory. Yes, Lord. He said, I'll be with you to the end. Yes, yes. yes. Glory. So we hope not in man. I don't understand how people can give their life. I mean, literally give their life to another person. <clears throat> and, and when that person walks away or the person rejects them, they act like their whole life is lost. Mm -hmm. I gave that man the best years of my life. I gave that woman the best years of my life. I don't know what I'm going to do now. All right. You put your hope in the wrong thing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Your hope needs to be in God. Amen. 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 Yes. Hope thou in God. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Do not put your hope in man. Mm -hmm. Do not put your hope in money. Amen. 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 Uh, I did say I'm going to challenge y'all today. All right. Do not put your hope in money. Amen. Many of us think that money makes the world go round. Uh -huh. The Bible says this in Proverbs 11:28. Glory. Money. Will cause many of us to do a lot of things we say we wouldn't do. That's right. That's true. Because mm -hmm. we have a, a false expectation that money will produce happiness. <laughs> Proverbs 11, 28 says this. He that trusts in his riches shall fall. Come on, man. But the righteous shall flourish as a branch. Mm -hmm. Do not put your trust in riches. Amen. The Bible says it's going to fall. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I listen to the, uh, to the stocks every day. I, as I go to work, I have my radio on uh, the news uh, station, and I listen to the stocks. And one day it may be up, next day it may be down. And it shows you just how fickle money is. Mm -hmm. You can have an abundance today. That's right. And then tomorrow, mm -hmm. you'll be scraping the barrel. Mm -hmm. yep. That's right, yeah. man. That's Do not put your trust in money. Mm -hmm. In 1 Timothy 1, I'm sorry, in 1 Timothy 6 and 17, this is what it says. I cannot trust money. I can't put my trust in man. I can't put my trust in money. In 1 Timothy 6, the Apostle Paul said this to Timothy in, in verse 6, uh, I'm sorry, chapter 6, verse 17, charge them that are rich in this world, mm -hmm. that they be not high man, mm -hmm. nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said, you charge those who got some money. Don't think you're better than the person who don't have money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't put your trust in uncertain riches, but put your trust in the living God. Amen. Amen. Who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Amen. Put your trust in God. 
Where is your hope? It should be in the living God. So I trust not man. I, I hope not in money. I hope not even in the military. Yes. Some of us feel safe because, hey, you know, we got police, we got the military. Mm -hmm. we're, the, we're the biggest and the baddest of the land. Mm -hmm. No. Hope not in the military. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Zechariah 4.6. Mm -hmm. It says, not by might nor by power, mm -hmm. but by my spirit, says the Lord. Yes. He said, don't put your trust in might, don't put your trust in power. Hey, put your trust in the Lord. Because it's not by might, it's not by power. You're safe not by might nor by power, mm -hmm. but you're safe because of God. Amen. Because of his spirit. Yes. Amen. In Psalms 20 and verse 7, it tells us that some may trust in horses. <laughs> some may trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Military life is not where your hope should be in. Right. Hope not in government. Hope not in government. I'm amazed how many people depend on the government. The government will only do so much for you. And then you have to go through so much regulation and red tape to get it. And you still have to That's the truth right there. Hope not in government. Jesus said this in Mark 12 and 17. He said, render to Caesar that which is Caesar. But you render to God that which is God. Yes. Your hope comes from God. You should hope in him. Put your hope in him. Now, I have a, uh, I have an 11-year-old son. And it was... One day this month, I decided to see where his mind is at, to see what he's listening to. And I asked him, I said, son, when you get to be of age where you can go, <coughs> how you going to go? What things concerns you? And without hesitation, he said something that shocked me. He said, Dad, I'm, I'm going to be a Democrat because we black and we both Democrat. And I stopped and looked. Where are you getting this from? Where are you getting this from? And I had to stop and slow down and begin to teach him. Don't put your hope in man. I don't know where you're getting this from. I said, but you are, first of all, an American. Mm -hmm. And do you not know that in America, you are a republic? He stopped and looked. And no, I'm not. I said, yes, you are. I said, have you ever pledged allegiance? He said, yeah. I said, let's, 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 let's pledge allegiance. He said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. And he stopped it. <laughs> I said, to the Republic for which it stands. I said, just, just like you are an American because you are of America, I said, when it boils down to it, all of us who are Americans who pledge allegiance, we are Republicans because we are of the country that is a Republic country. Now, you may vote Democrat, you may vote Republican, but when it boils down to it, we are all of a Republic country. And I was trying to get him to see just don't follow the crowd. Amen. Right, come on, Amen. 
Because you're missing out when you just follow the crowd aimlessly, mm -hmm. not thinking for yourself. Right. Know who you are and, and why you are that. Right. And so I began to, to share some things to him. He said, and I began to, to begin to mess with his mind, and I began to, to kind of uh, illustrate some things to him. I said, you are a black Republican. <laughs> and he took hold of that. And so now when I asked him, I said, who are you now? How are you going to vote? He said, I'm a black Republican, Dad. I said, yeah, and always vote based off the morals that you've been taught. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Don't be afraid to cross the party line. Yes. Amen. 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 You vote based off the God that you serve. Sure. That's yes. it. The morals that you've been taught. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so I was teaching them not to put hope in government. Amen. Not to put, put hope in the book, uh, political parties. Mm -hmm. yes. no, you vote your conscience, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hope thou in God. Yes. Yes. <coughs> now let me give you some examples of why we need to put our hope in God. Do you not know that our hope in God will cause us, number one, it will cause our heart to be strengthened. The psalmist said, why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you cast down? Why are you so weak? Then he said, hope thou in God. Get some strength about you. See, the Bible says a uh, hope deferred will make the heart sick. The Bible says that. When hope is deferred, when hope is delayed, when hope does not come, the heart gets sick. Come on, man. That's why you can't put your trust or put your hope in man. Yes. Because man will put you off. Oh, yeah. Man will say no. Man will say not now. Man will say you wait. You get at the end of the line. Right. Hope deferred will, will make the heart sick. Let's look at that. Turn with me in your Bible. In Proverbs 13 and 12. Now try to get us to think here. Why do I do what I do? You ever ask yourself that question? Why? Some things have been instilled in us, and we need to step back and say, why? Why do I do the way I do? Why do I act the way I act? Why? In Proverbs 13, look at verse 12. It says, hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is the tree of life. Yes. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Now the Bible says that God will strengthen your heart when you put your hope in Him. That's right. Yes. In Psalms 31, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Psalms 31, verse 24. This is what it says. It says, be of good courage. In verse 24 of Psalm 31. Mm -hmm. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. So we have a choice here. We can either 
allow our hope to be deferred and our heart get sick, or we put our hope in the Lord and get our heart strength. The choice is easy. I'm going to put my hope in the Lord because I want my heart to be strengthened. So why do we need to put our hope in God? first? He's going to strengthen your heart. He's going to strengthen your heart. We put our hope in the Lord because our hope in him make us not a change. Mm -hmm. When I put my hope in man, I feel rejected. I feel shame. I get upset. My heart gets sick. But when I put my hope in God, he said, I'm not going to make you ashamed. Mm -hmm. Those who are looking at you, putting your trust in the Lord, God will not make you look a fool in front of those who are looking at you. All right. That's awesome to me. He said, I'm not going to make you look a fool. Yes, even though I am a fool for Christ, he don't make me look like a fool. Yes, I'm a fool for Christ. That don't mean that I'm going to look like a fool. That means when others are following the status quo, they're doing what everyone else is doing. But I choose to follow God. God say, they're going to look back and see you prospering. They're going to look back and see that you are advancing. They're going to look back and see that you are strong. That God is on your side. So he's not going to make you look like a fool. He's not going to bring shame upon you. Because your hope is in him. Mm -hmm. Hope thou in God. Man. And so he will not bring you to shame. In Psalms 119 verse 116. I'm trying to Get, get us to a place here to where we understand that our hope needs to be in God. Yes. Psalms 119. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Psalms 119. Verse 114. This is what it says. It says, Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me. Ye evil doers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Yes. Uphold me according to thy word, that I may live. And let me not be ashamed of my hope. Yes. Uphold me according to thy word, that I may live. And let me not be ashamed of thy hope. Jesus Said heaven and earth are going to pass away, but my word is going to stand. Amen. So when I stand on God's word, when all else fails, guess what's going to be standing? God's word. Amen. So if I stand on God's word and God's word is still standing, then guess what? I'm still standing. Amen. Amen. So He will not make me ashamed. your hope in God. I can't say I put my hope in God when I live contrary to God's word. Amen. Doesn't work like that. If I put my hope in God, I gotta find myself being obedient to God's word. Amen. I gotta find myself being obedient to God's word. So hope thou in God. Now, two more students, and I'm done. Your hope.
hoping God should not just include today. It should not just include tomorrow. It should not just include the rest of your life here on this earth. That's not the hope that God wants you to have. He wants you to have the hope that not only does it include this life, but his hope prepares you for eternal life. Amen. Yes. That's the hope that God is wanting you to have. Hope that it involves this life day by day, hour by hour. Yes, my hope is in him. Yes. Because it's in him that I live and move and have my being. Yes. Amen. So yes, I put my hope in him for today and for tomorrow and for the next day. But when my life on this earth ends, I still have hope for eternal life. All right. Mm -hmm. The Bible says this in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 19. I just don't want to put my hope in God for a meal or for shelter to get my bills paid. Yeah. I want my hope in him to be eternal. <clears throat> First Corinthians 15 verse 19 says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ. Mm -hmm. It says, we are of all men most miserable. Mm -hmm. If my hope only begins and ends with this life in God, mm -hmm. he says, you're miserable. Mm -hmm. you, ain't, you ain't no better than anyone else. You still want to die and go to hell just like, like those who don't know him. But he said, your hope does not end when this life ends. He said, but now is Christ risen from the dead and became the first fruits of them that slept. For since man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. Glory. And so, my hope does not just stop with the things of this world. My hope is eternal. Amen. God is going to take care of me now. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing about being saved is, is, is what I like is that my past has been dealt with. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> My present is being, he's dealing with me now. Mm -hmm. And then my future is secure. That's awesome to me. Yes. My past has been dealt with. My future is, he's dealing with me now. I'm being sanctified. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And my future is secure in him. Amen. That's awesome. That's why my hope has to be in him. It has to be in him. But if my life just consists of the here and now, the Bible says you are men most miserable. Right. Because there's an afterlife. Yeah. There's a heaven and a hell waiting. There's an eternity on the other side of this life. Mm -hmm. And so he's saying, your hope extends beyond just this life. Thank you, Jesus said, I am the life yeah. and the resurrection. I'm the resurrection and the life. <clears throat> so my hope is in him. The Bible also says, and this is something that I want to get to. I said all of that to get to this point right here. The Bible says that we need to put our hope in him. 
But don't you understand, don't you know that God has put hope in you? I put my hope in him. And then God turned around and put hope in me. Amen. You need to understand that. I put my hope in him. And then God put hope in me. Not just for me, but for those who do not know him. I put my hope in him. And then God said, I'm going to put hope in you. So that those who don't know me can see me through you. All right. Amen. In Colossians 1 27, this is what it says. It says in verse 27 of Colossians 1, it says, To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery. There's a mystery. Amen. And you thought you would just claim Jane, ordinary. But no, you are a mystery carrier. You carry mysteries. Amen. I know I'm saying things in a different way, but I want you to understand. You carry a mystery. Amen. The world is looking at you, trying to figure you out. Because you are a mystery carrier. Amen. You carry a mystery. And here's the mystery. The Bible says, To whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. Those who don't know the Lord. That's a mystery. Why do you think the Bible says you are a peculiar people? That's a mystery in you. They don't understand why you behave the way you behave, why you act the way you act, why, why you talk the way you talk, where your hope is in. They don't understand that. So it's, it's a mystery to them. But here's the mystery. To whom God will make known to, will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Here's the mystery. Christ in you, the expectation of glory. See, my hope in God causes me to expect great things from God. Amen. 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 My hope in him causes me to expect God to be God. Yes. Amen. Every day. Christ in me, the expectation of glory. Yes. So when I do something in the name of the Lord, guess what? I expect, expect. glory. I expect glory. Mm -hmm. We are the mystery keepers. Amen. Do you not know that glory follows you? Amen. Glory follows you. When you lay your hands to do something, Jesus said, these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come yes, on now. Amen, brother. Yes. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall come. Yeah. Glory. Thank you, Christ in you, the expectation of glory. When you speak a word and it's the word of God, it will not return void. That's glory. That's glory. Hallelujah. Right, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So my hope is in him. And then he put his hope in me mm -hmm. so that the world can see, so the Gentiles can see, so that those who don't know the Lord can see. Amen. God in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says we are epistles written of men, read of men. Mm -hmm. We are epistles read of so men. Good. You talking about 
We should be a juicy book. Yes, we should be a juicy book. <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> Exciting. We are epistles of of men. What do they read when they see you? When they read you, what do they read? They should not read a broke down. No. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, All right. that's right. <clears throat> Barely getting along. No. When they read you, when they look into your life, they should see that God is great and great that you be praised. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. He's great and great that you be praised. Hallelujah. My goodness, when I turn the page, he's even greater. When I turn the next page, he's even greater. God is great. And great that you be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he's put his hope in me. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Christ in you. Thank you, Lord. The hope of glory. Yes. Yes. Oh, we need to get that. Christ in me. Mm -hmm. The hope of glory. Yes. If I never say another word to you, but if I just say good morning, there should be enough anointing and good morning. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Glory. <laughs> because Christ is in me. The hope of glory. Thank you. And so we are mystery carriers. I know I'm for you. I ain't talking about the way I'm looking. <laughs> I know I'm for you. Because Christ is on the inside. Yes, Lord. Yes. You are so peculiar that the Bible says you, you need to get ready. People are going to ask you why you have this hope. Yep. Get ready. People are going to wonder what's on the inside of you that makes you act the way you act. Oh, you different. Right. Yeah, you may do your hair the same. You may wear the same type style of clothes that everyone else, but you're different. Yes. What is it about you? The Bible says, get in position. Get ready. Amen. Always have an answer for the hope that's in you. Yes. Get ready. Right. They're going to ask questions. Right. They're going to want to know why. They're curious about you. First Peter 3 and 15, and I'm, and I'm done. Thank you, Lord. Hope thou in God. First Peter. Glory. First Peter 3 15 says this. Hallelujah. It says, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Be ready. Be ready. Thank you. Thank you. Be ready. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer. Are you ready to give an answer for the hope that you have? Why do you believe the way you believe? Why do you hope the way that you hope? What causes you to stand when others are fall? Even when you're going through things, and this is when hope rises up, the more. Even when I'm going through things, Stands tall. <clears throat> the reason.
reason why hope stands tall when you go through things. Because hope always expect to come out. Hope always expect a favorable outcome. Remember the definition that I that I told you? Hope is always the expecting trust for a favorable outcome. And so hope always causes you to position yourself. Remember, <clears throat> when the disciples were thrown in jail, not only were they thrown in jail, but they was in the inner part, maximum security part. Now, many of us, we've been biting our nails. We've been asking for that one phone call, someone to post bail. Mm -hmm. But these men did not do that. They began to praise the Lord. Yes. They began to praise the Lord. Yes. See, when you go through stuff, hope always stands up. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's what makes people take notice. Something different about him. I've, I've been laid off so many times, I couldn't even tell you. Come on. All right, now. I have. To where it, 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 it's, it's comical now. We got to let you go. Okay. <laughs> and the reason why, that's not my source. That's All right. right. That's true. Amen. <laughs> it's not my source. I took hold of this. As the Bible says, God is a portion. He's yeah, my portion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so we have to get to the point. These men thrown in jail. Shackled. But hope rose up. <clears throat> we got to praise the Lord. Yeah, we got to give God the glory. Yeah. Yes. See, it, it, remember, hope is the expecting trust for a favorable outcome. It is the positioning of the heart. Many of us, when we get cast down, we stay down. Mm -hmm. We wallow in. Mm -hmm. We stay rejected. We want others to come and, and give us a pat on the back. It's going to be all right. But these men didn't have that luxury. They began to praise the Lord. They began to exalt God. They began to magnify the Lord because they realized my hope is not in the system. My hope is not in the court-appointed lawyer. My hope is in the Lord. Yeah. 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 And so they begin to worship. They begin to exalt him. They begin to magnify him. Yes. In such a way, it positions. Yes, Lord. I see, this is something that we have to understand. When you worship God, come on. Yes. Thank you. It puts you in position. And then when you worship him, yes, Lord. It creates a condition. Yes. yes. Then when you continue to worship him. All right. Yes. Then here comes the transition. Yes. yes. They worship the Lord. They got in position. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that all that was in the jail heard them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And then they began mm -hmm. to go from position to condition. The Bible says they came up a great earthquake. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. See, position yourself so change can come. Amen. All right. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hope will always put you in position to where change. It's going to come. Thank you, Jesus. You look forward to change. Thank you, Lord. You expect change. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. That's why, as the brother was saying, it may look like I'm surrounded. All right. <laughs> but I'm surrounded by him. Mm -hmm. It may look like I've been cast down. 
But guess what? I'm not destroyed. All right. Amen. Amen. It may look like I've been perplexed. On either side. On either side. Come on. Amen. Yeah. It may look like it. Oh, but <laughs> do you not understand? God is setting himself up to get the glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank Jesus. And so they begin to praise the Lord, and the Bible says there was a great earthquake. Mm -hmm. Not only that it, that it shook everything, doors opened up, mm -hmm. locked doors, mm -hmm. prison doors, shackles fell off. Yes, it did. <laughs> and so God is trying to tell us something here. Your hope need to rise up in times of adversity. Yes. Your hope yes. need to say, I yes. gotta give God praise. Yes. yes. Something yes. is about to happen. Yes. I gotta give him glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. You are a mystery carrier. Thank you, Lord. Just because you got laid off, <laughs> just because you received some bad news, <laughs> just because you got in your car and there's a flat tire, you still ought to have a praise in your mouth. Amen. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of what they did, the Bible says. Hallelujah. Thank you. The keeper of the jail. His house got saved. Yes. yes. He got saved. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And these men were let go. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Simply because they allow hope. In God. Thank you, Lord. To rise out of them. Your hope is going to change somebody's life. Sure will. It can change somebody's life. Don't be afraid to, to put hope on display. Your hope that you have in God, put it on display. Let them yes, see yes. that you got hope in God. Yes. It's not my paycheck, it's him. Amen. It's not Dillard's, Neiman Marcus, it's him. It's not Timberlands, it's him. It's not Mercedes, Lexus, it's him. Amen. 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 It's not the suburbs, it's him. Amen. Amen. My hope is in him. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's anyone one here today who <coughs> has put their hope in the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. We want to pray for you today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Anyone who do not know the Lord, Jesus, as their Savior. We want to pray with you today. Yeah. Hope is here. Mm -hmm. Hope is here. If you don't know where you're going to spend eternity, mm -hmm. I'm here to let you know. You don't have to wonder. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You don't have to second guess. Today, right now, is the time to get your life right. God is concerned about you right now. Amen. So much that he has made a room for you and prepared a place for you in heaven with him. Amen. All you have to do is say is, yes, Lord. I accept. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now is the time for you to give your life to the Lord. Is there anyone here? Who needs prayer for any reason? Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Father. Hallelujah. I come against the enemy. That's coming against our bodies. I speak healing right now. I speak deliverance in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else who needs prayer? Hallelujah. I want you to come. I want you to come. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I give God praise. I give God the glory. I thank him today. I thank him today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else who needs prayer before the before Brother Strong come? Hallelujah. Is there anyone else who needs prayer? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
Thank you. As a matter of fact, he'll give it back more mm -hmm. than what you put in the ground. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I've never seen anybody plant one tomato plant and only got one tomato. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. So we ask that you would get ready. If you have your offering ready, Deacon Scott is coming to receive it and he's going to bless it. Hallelujah. If you have your offering where you stand, and he's going to bless it and he's going to receive it. Amen. I hope everyone enjoyed the message of hope and the yeah. ministry of yeah. worship and praise. Yeah. It's good to, to break those uh, hard ground. You know, when you get up in the morning, it's, you know, it's tough to, you know, Get going, you know, especially, you know, when you come to the house of the Lord, you know, okay, oh, this yeah. is Saturday, and I've been working all week, but, you know, when I get a call from Mother Gail, you know, like, well, I know when she gave me a call, you know, whatever, I, I didn't have nothing planned, so I didn't make any plans, plans uh, for her own, so I know I'm going to be here. And I was blessed to, to come here and uh, be blessed by the word, the hope, and the, the, the song. Every time we love, you sing. It always stick with me. It sticks yeah. with me for months and months. Yeah. And, yeah. and my wife, it does uh, her the same way. God it's a blessing. Yeah. 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 I'm sure it, it does y'all the same way. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. Uh, Father God, we thank you for this, this gathering. Thanks, Lord. Yeah. Lord, we offer up this offering of <coughs> blessed multiply. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If y'all would, we start from the rear, come towards the front. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. See you later.
Amen. 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 I'm going to acknowledge that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank the West Central Badgers who represent this community. Hallelujah. In the Senior Citizen Game Bag uh, 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 Team Competition, the State Tournament. Yes. The Senior Olympics, yes. right. they represent this community, hallelujah. They are past champions. All right. They are currently, if the, if the last report I heard, they are undefeated, right. 11 and 0, hallelujah. So let's give them a hand, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, we thank them for coming to represent their community and also to support Mother Hill. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank them for coming. I thank all of you for coming. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, we honor you. We, we honor you for coming because you did not have to. But we thank you for coming today. Hallelujah. And uh, I want y'all to pray for me. Because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it once y'all leave. Oh. <laughs> she gonna hook me once y'all leave. So y'all pray for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But she has to be obedient yeah. to the doctor. She just had surgery, another surgery yesterday. Wow. Just yesterday. So she's got to be obedient. I know she's feeling good. Uh -huh. yeah. I know she's happy to see everybody. Yeah. But she's got to be obedient to the physician until and also her pastor. All right. <laughs> she don't want, <laughs> Hallelujah. If I'm gonna get a good one, I want to get a good one. So she's gonna give me a good one. Amen. Amen. What a blessed morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. The Bible declares that his hallelujah, his mercy is new every morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could you look at the person to the left of you and someone to the right of you? You know what you see? You see mercy. You see mercy. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I may not know, amen, this is his name, but I know she's mercy. When she woke up, God gave her new mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And we want to thank you again. If you did not get a, a, a gift bag, hallelujah, uh, see Sister uh, Blake, she'll give you a gift bag, hallelujah. I think she's got bags for the men and also the women, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to thank God again for my, my youngest brother, Minister Vincent, for bringing the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank God. Thank God, praise the name of the Lord. I thank God for, for him coming to share the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. We thank God for all of you, Brother Strong, and all of you that had a hand in this, this day. We, we honor you and bless you today. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand. We're not going to prolong the hour. Again, on behalf of Mother Hill, we graciously thank you for coming and being a part of this service today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't lose your hope. When your hope is challenged, hold on stronger to the Lord. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Your hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. When all else is sinking sand, on Christ, the solid rock, we will stand. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you for this day. This is a day like no other day. This is a day unique within itself. This is a day full of purpose and power and potential. And we thank you, Father. For this is the day that you have made. I will rejoice and be glad. I thank you, Father. 
that Father bless us in our going yes, Lord. as you have blessed us in our coming. Yes, Lord. Angels of heaven, go before us and yes, guide us safely yes, Lord. on the highways and byways. Yes, Spirit of the living God, yes, breathe on us yes, as we leave this house. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Shake somebody's hand. Give them a good God bless you. You are dismissed. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>